Seven, I think he said. The gates is behind it, so we'll uh, stroll up this way. And that is number 14, so it's probably 28, I would think. Oh, yeah, probably 27 or 28, not sure. today. I dare say it'll fill up again by the weekend. Uh, where are we? Be around here somewhere. Side. Very big side. It's all a lot nearer to each other than others. But they are measures. Here we are, number 20, number 27. Big 27. And this is the way to go through the gate, cross the road, and that. The path takes you down to the Cleveland Wharf. We're just heading down towards the beach, hopefully. You can just see the castle over the hill. On the top of the hill. Should be 
this is Garber Castle, which is about there. A bit murky today. But, uh, definitely a good view. This is heading down. See where the path goes. You right, you can walk 15 minutes along this path from the cliff top down to Sea Life Centre. But we'll have to try that tomorrow. It's uh, getting a little bit late. We'll just have a see what the sea looks like down here. Or what the beach looks like, shall we say? There we are, clean runway, public footpath. Mm. It's a bit uh, steep, I don't know how you get down to it. Getting down to it from that side. That will have to be investigated tomorrow. And you can see it's a bit murky, but it's not cold. Looks like there's a landing just around the corner. We might be able to walk down to get on the beach. Someone's down there. Yeah, we'll have to check that uh, beach out tomorrow. It actually looks like it's going to rain now. We have a cold, fresh morning. Just walked from the campsite. Walking along the Cleveland Way, and I had to get down onto the beach. I have no idea unless you walk right round further down or down on the steep paths. It's a, a really good view. You know, misty view. Just heading towards the Sea Life Centre, and you can see the promenade right along. The on the top. That could be a long walk down there. But uh, it's fairly busy. We'll see when we get down there. Me. Hey. So the sea life centre. Quite a lot here. Come here Jess. Right over the top of that. Quite a walk. Well, all right, we're going, coming down the steps. So quite a few people out, even though it's very windy. It's not very warm either. There's the Sea Life Centre. It's about 15, 20 minutes walk from the camp. On the Cleveland Way. The 
we're headed on there towards the uh, beginning of the North Shore. Don't forget a cuppa. People leaving the dog pond the front again. Oi. Just having a good sniff around. Few people surfing and just swimming. It is rough, very rough. But there's still art in it. See the castle on the hill. Multicolored beaches. If you have the door open, see life centre in the distance with the sun on it. A few hardy souls, body boarded. That must be cold in there. That's it, we're back at the water hall. We just come from North Bay, we walk around the street way. It just took us 25 minutes, which is not bad. Slightly uphill, but it's all right, nothing too exciting. The walk around the front, it's good. It's along the Cleveland Way, but very steep steps when you're going towards the Wa. Sea Life Centre. Sorry, sorry Wildlife Centre, pretend Sea Life Centre. So now she's just having to wander around, find some weird place to sit down, and then it'll be lunch time. It'll be nearly full time then. This is where the Cleveland path starts. When you get from the campsite, as you can see, got that one to Scarborough, and that's the one towards Whitby. And the other places. It goes a long way around. looking a bit dull just a break of sunshine see the castle in the distance might go to that later all depends on the weather it's a pity that you can't get down onto some of these coves there's so much to explore mountain goat and a lot of climbing gear with you. This is very steep. In front there's just sea life and the Scalby Mulls Railway. It takes you through to Pizone Park onto the South Bay, the North Bay, North Bay. Just missed it, so we'll have to walk if we want to go there. 
sea life centre seems to get a lot in. It's a very busy place, but uh, it's a very nice place to stay. And I'm five minutes just from like that. You ride across to the castle on the hill. What a place to have a pint. Pint. Sick. See the last centre there. Castle on the hill. for a pint, it's a good walk, right along the front, a bit breezy, fortunately they haven't got food on because chest not very well, but otherwise a nice pint, friendly atmosphere, Jesse's had a drink, and she's struggling back up the hill. Oh, Scalby Mills. <laughs> <laughs>